Hi everyone, we're Michelle and Michael and we're here for Life, the Basic Manual to talk about our English Cocker Spaniels and more importantly tips that I've learned over the years on um, how to deal with certain issues when you have a puppy. So here we have Michael with our youngest little one called Gabe who's five months old and here you can see how much he is teething by chewing on his nyla bone. Um, there's, every puppy's different, every puppy has different issues, some are more obsessed with some than the others. At the moment Gabe is very obsessed with eating paper um, and trying to chew slippers. So he goes through his little phases. But for me, for this time, and knowing for myself how important holistic care is for humans, I want to look more into how important um, holistic care is for our puppies. So, um, and I've learned so many things. So first of all, I wanted to start off to say, we got Gabe when he was like 10 weeks old. And um, the things that I learned, that I didn't realize that that puppies don't necessarily know their name until they're after 12 weeks old. So there were times that I felt that I was calling him and I thought he might actually be deaf because he wasn't coming to us. But I knew really that wasn't the case because he had had a test and the hearing was fine. But they take in so much information that they can't process it all. So it, it's very important just to take one thing at a time for them to know that command or their name no, because when they try and take too much information in, then basically they don't do anything. So we very, very slowly wanted to keep saying his name until we hope he recognized it. It was really important for our first thing is to say no to him. So no was always our first, but it's also important not to say no to everything he does because then he associates that you have to have different words. So there's no when he's doing something really bad in a very firm tone. Then there's leave it when you want him to drop something. Um, then there's stay, obviously, to keep him um, stationary. Um, but we don't do it all in one go. Um, so we've learned, like over the weeks, the words that have become more, um, that resonate more with him than other words. At the moment, down, we can forget about. <laughs> he, he doesn't know the down, but he knows the no and he knows to sit. So that was one of the first ones to do, sit and no, especially when we're feeding him. So we tell him to sit, we tell him to stay until we put the bowl down. And most of the time he's pretty good at it. Um, he's actually more um, teething or having effects from teething than any other puppies um, I've had in the past. So I wanted to look up on how to help for teething puppies. And there's lots of ways that I can just share with you on what I feel has been good for him. So the first thing I found out is how chamomile um, is very effective to help your puppies or your dogs. Not only does it help with anxiousness and it helps calm them down, it also helps with their gums and their teething. So I would get a couple of bags of chamomile tea um, and um, boil it up, keep it cool, and then I'd give him like about 20 mils from a syringe that you use like for turkey, and I put it in his mouth, or I put it on his food, and he loves it. Um, and I do that twice a day for him. Um, I don't know whether it actually works or not, because obviously I'm not him, but I like to think that it does have an effect on him. I also give it to our other, other dog, Finley, because he just likes the chamomile, and um, he obviously likes the taste of it, but I do see that it does have some calming effects. It might not be sudden, but it does like a, a little bit while after you give it to them, as with any naturopathic or holistic supplement. So also you, what you could do with chamomile that's also good is that you could get an ice tray, put the tea in each of the little compartments in the ice tray, freeze it, and then when they're really teething um, badly and to help soothe their, soothe their gums, you can give them an ice cube to chew on because that will, will have an instant effect to calm the gums down. Or you can crush all the ice and put it in their food or as in their water and then they can crunch on 
the eyes. Aloe vera juice is also very good. Not that I've given aloe vera juice to my dogs, um, but I have, I have read that you can also give them aloe vera juice to um, help with their gums as well. Um, the other things that I've learned is that you can give some of their favorite toys um, or some of their um, chewing treats, um, put them in the freezer. And so when they're, so they get nice and cold and then you can give it to them when they want to teeth because the coolness also helps um, soothe their gums. Obviously, there's nothing to like make it 100% easier for them, but just these little tips might be able to help um, with the pain that they have until um, all their teeth come through. And all their teeth generally come through, every dog can be different between like um, seven to eight months.